Alright everyone, how are you doing? I'm Unruly. Welcome back to Unruly Horror. This is what I bought this month, August 2023, even though it's the 1st of September. Yeah, um, I, I know I keep going away. Um, I just haven't been buying DVDs and I've just been busy doing other things. And yeah, I'm going to be trying to, you know, get back into the rhythm because I did get into a very good rhythm. Um, it's not starting well. I don't know where my tripod is. So I'm back to using DVDs as a stand. So this is why the angle is messed up. My hair needs a haircut desperately. I mean, I've waxed it. It's just I'm sweating so much because it's, it's warm. It's September and it's warm. Don't know what's happening with this weather like. No clue. God, it looks terrible. But yeah, um, I think I put a bit too much wax in here. Like Anyway, the films. Um, I bought three DVDs. Uh, this month, last month, shall I see. Um, so, just going to get them. Um, I've only seen one of them. I've heard about the other one. And the other one was just a, I searched for horror films, found it. And I'll start off with that one first. So first up, we have Stay Alive. Uh, you die in the game. You die for real. So it's Jumanji, but horror. So anyway, um, after the mysterious, brutal death of an old friend, a group of teenagers find themselves in possession of Stay Alive, a next-generation horror survival video game based on the spine-chilling true story of a true story of a seventeenth-century noblewoman known as the Blood Countess. The gamers don't know anything about the game other than they are not supposed to have it. And they are dying to play it. Not able to resist temptation, the group begin to play the grisly game, and soon a chilling connection is made. They are each being murdered one by one in the same method as the character they played in the game. As the line between the game world and the real world disappears, the group must find a way to defeat the vicious and merciless Blood Countess, all the while trying stay alive stay alive um that is some really good like a video game that if you die in it you die in the real world that is a very cool concept as a filmmaker that is a very cool concept and i'm pretty sure someone i know made a short film like that in lockdown so i will have to look that up because it does sound like a really good one Next up, I'll start with the film I have seen. It is Amityville 2, The Possession. I've got Amityville... Whoop. <laughs> Clumsy. I've got Amityville 1, and I've got the remake. Um, this is the second one. I don't know what the third one is, but I'm pretty sure after the third one, it just gets messy. Like, I'm pretty sure there's Amityville, The Dollhouse... We, as in the clue, the dollhouse is haunted. I don't, I don't know. Um, there was a film footage one in like 2008, which is just, it was ridiculous. It was cool in the, the sense of, you know, film footage was sort of popular at that time because of paranormal activity. And so everyone was making film footage. Um, but, but no, Halloween had a film footage uh, type movie. It's an awful film, but they had it. But Emerson 2 is actually a decent sequel from what I remember. Even though it's been oh god, like ten years or something since I last watched it. Yeah. So um I don't like this angle by the way, this angle. Make my cheeks look massive. Um so what I do remember is this one the ending, I thought it was a bit like The Exorcist because I'm pretty sure the priest tells the demon to go in him and it is, except he's just chucking himself the window. He's sort of cowering in a corner. Um, so, Amityville 2, The Possession, tells the true story of the... <laughs> yeah, true again. Of the Montellis, a dysfunctional Catholic family who arrive in the Amityville house two years before the Lutzes of the first film. So it's a prequel, okay. Sonny, the eldest child, 
is horrifically possessed by a sinister supernatural presence rising up from a secret basement room, instructed by a voice through his Walkman. Sony reduces his youngest... <laughs> Sorry. Walkman. That dated, doesn't it? Blimey no. Sonny seduces his youngest... Oh, God, I remember that, yeah. Um, it's not sort of graphic or anything, but it's sort of weirdly done. Um, before brutally slaughtering his entire family, local priest, Father Adamski, tries to rescue Sonny's soul and return to the sinister Amityville house to face the demon. So, yeah, um, I need to rewatch that one because it was good when I watched it. In like 2012, I think that's when it was. Around that time, 2012. Yeah. So yeah, can't wait to watch that one again. Um, I still need to get a new franchise because I am one film away from no two films now from completing the Wrong Turn series. I have one film left: the Halloween, the new one, which is uh, better than this uh, last one, but still not good. At least they weren't chanting every single <laughs> ten minutes. Evil dies tonight. Um, I need season two of Chucky on DVD, which is I haven't bought yet. Um, I need Scream, the new one that's just come out. Just come out this year, shall I say. I've seen that one, though, so it was really good. Um, I'm getting distracted now. ADHD is kicking in badly. Um, Urban Legend is the next film, and the last film. Um, oh, this is a series as well, isn't it? I like Urban Legends. That's why I've always wanted to watch this film. I'm obsessed with Urban Legends. As a teenager, I used to go through like just the legend, like stories about the legends, and it was amazing. Like one of them, I read was, oh, what was it? It was something about a man staying at a house where this killer would kill you and he leaves or something and there's like always hearing through the wind, wind da, 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 da. and it was funny and um that's why i liked scary stories to tell in the dark because I'm pretty sure one of them which which was the big tour one i read that one a few times but yeah um urban legend it's in the clue People get murdered, based on an urban legend. So, everyone's heard of them, yet they have no traceable source. They're urban legends. Contemporary tales that emerge from the underground and take on colourful lives of their own. When a series of strange deaths occur on the campus of Pendleton College, student Natalie begins to suspect there is a bizarre link. Someone is making urban legends a sinister reality. Her classmate, loyal Brenda, ambitious journalist Major Paul, and class joker Damon insist their deaths are just coincidence, despite their extraordinary circumstances. But when Natalie gets too close to discovering the killer's demented desire to, recre Sorry about that. to recreate the ultimate urban legend, she realises this could be his next victim. Yeah, so this came out... I remember if I can see a year I can't see a year 999 so this was Scream after Scream so by that point horror films slashers especially they had a certain element to them that had a certain recipe of how they went along in the went with the meta you know inside stuff um, college you know that kind of Wes Craven inspired stuff because Scream did change the horror genre when it came out and that is another influence of Scream, Urban Legend um, I have heard the second one is good but the third one isn't so yeah um, I've got the films I'm going to order this month when I get paid already in the Amazon basket and I'm not going to let you know what they are even I'm pretty sure I just told you one of them before so go watch that again and see if you can figure it out but anyway um that is done for this month last month technically and i just want to quickly go shout out link will be in below 
um, a series I'm doing here on YouTube over on the Visionet Media channel, British Horror Stories. I've actually just finished editing one, which I'm about to upload, and I'll upload this later tonight. So if you're watching this, and you've got this far, thank you. But click the link down below to watch the newest episode all about the ancient Ram in British Horror Stories, episode 6. You can find the other five episodes on the channel. Thank you. Have a nice day.